shoulder condition. It's just been healed. I've not even prayed. It's just been healed. Do your shoulder. You notice a relief. I don't want you have a shoulder condition. You have a shoulder condition. Move it. Move it. You notice it's been healed. You notice a relief. You notice a relief. You that came with a shoulder condition, it just been relieved. It, whether it was the shoulder or whatever, it just been relieved. You couldn't move it. Yes, this hand has been, since I got this accident, this hand has been removing. It was but dislocated. Last, yes, it has been removed. Like, if I want to do it, like, even if I want to lie down, sometimes I have to remove. I have to put it back. But since I came inside, I've been praying, but I noticed that my hand can reach where it cannot reach before and it can reach back. Never to return again. You are healed by the Holy Ghost himself. Hallelujah. Come, what's going on? For some time now, I've having a severe pain on this my shoulder. If I take ibuprofen, it will go. If I massage it with diclomor, it will. After some, after a while, after a few days, once I stop using those drugs, it will come back. So, so what's going on now? What's the mission? Shoulder guy just did it like this, and I couldn't feel anything from here to. What was wrong before? You couldn't feel. The, it was painful before. When I do like this, I feel a very strong pain. Okay, do the same thing. I can't feel anything. You couldn't feel that before. You couldn't do that before without feeling pain. Feel Hallelujah! It. Jesus has healed you. Amen. Who did that job? Hallelujah. Walk come come well. to the side. What's going on? She couldn't walk well with her legs. She couldn't squat. In fact, when she came into the church, I was told that she was helped into the church. Wait, but wait, right let's now, hear well. She has bandages on her knees. Let's see it. Let's see the bandage. She was helped coming in. To the venue. How many people saw her? I didn't see. Oh, a lot of people saw. Come and tell us what happened. Is your my hey? I was saying I know you. You're all the way from the US. And uh hey, -huh, you don't live here. So come, okay, this is the daughter. Is it true? She couldn't do this before. Yes. I will see her all smiles. <laughs> So she couldn't do it at all. She couldn't she do this. Having pain. We have to massage and massage. I told her she must come here today. Healing is going to take place here today. And healing did take place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give Jesus some praise, somebody. Yes, he was actually deaf from X. He wasn't hearing at all. How do you know he wasn't hearing? If I talk to him, he wouldn't he wouldn't hear. He won't hear. Yes, he won't so hear. what did the doctors tell you? I took him to various hospitals and they told me it's not curable. Now we're going to go to some heavy stuff right now. Miracles are already taking place. Somebody that had a condition, your tummy region, you've been healed. But I'm going to pray. You've been healed, check yourself. I, I, apparently there is some sort of swelling or whatever. 
there's some sort of swelling in your abdomen region. You've been healed. <laughs> What's going on here? I, I have an infection over five years. You have an infection years. for five years? Since 2015 or 14. Okay. My mom knows about it, so I've been disturbing her for tests and for treatment, but she has not treated me just because she doesn't have money. So what's going on now? So, and because of that, I, I used to have a swelling tummy. Yes. And so I don't need this to menstruate. Well. But when they were when I was praying, they were praying for me. I felt that my tummy has gone down. I felt that it was going to flat. Wait, I don't understand. Your tummy was swollen before? Yes, it used to swell up sometimes. It used to come down. So how do you know something has happened to you? I felt that it's reduced. It's reduced. Where is mommy? Who is your mom? She's Come, come, talk, talk to us about what's going on here. What's happening to your daughter? Both of them are crying. Put your hands together for Jesus. As confirmed, she was just overwhelmed because this case has been on for five years. Five years, yes. People don't treat it because they don't have money. And that's why... She so what, what was the actual problem? Okay, so, swollen tummy that any time, you know, she has that pain, the tummy will be swollen. So she said now that she's been going through that and the mom touched the tummy to actually check that it has gone down. You touch, the tummy went down today. Even today, it swell up. How do you know it swell up even today? I see her now. Who knows about this case? I want to, who knows the, the case that is swollen? So it was swollen before. Yes, it's swollen. All of a sudden, it went flat. She's not been menstruating every month. But when I look at her, because of that money, I'll just keep quiet. But you know what? Jesus healed her without a dime. Hallelujah! Give somebody, give Jesus praise. She said her stomach was swollen. When the prayers were going on, it suddenly went flat. That's the work of the Spirit of God. Give Jesus great praise. Let's take one more testimony right here. The Lord. Hallelujah. I want to give God praise. My friend invited me for this program. I don't even know what it's about. And I said, okay, we'll, we'll come. She said, you will drive. I said, it's fine. But a few days ago, I was not sure if I can come because I was having a major ulcer pain. Major, I have never experienced that before. I have already stopped breastfeeding my baby, but in the night, I just subconsciously, I just gave him breast. And he slept for a long time, and I just jacked up from sleep. I'm like, what? What have I done? Instantly, the pain started for days. So when we're coming, I was telling her, even days ago, I said, I'm not feeling well, but I will go. We're coming, I said, please, I need to eat something. I ate last by 12. If I don't eat anything now, the pain will be too much for me to bear. I've taken all form of injections. And I stood there. The prayer has not started. The woman of God said, God is healing his stomach condition. And I held my stomach. I can't hold it like this before now. You couldn't press it before. I can't. I dare not touch it. I dare not touch it. But right now, all the pain is gone. All the pain is gone. Give Jesus great 